Abu Dhabi on the shore of the Arabian Gulf, one of the fastest growing and one of the wealthiest cities in the world. The rich capital rose to international standards in economy, tourism and development in phenomenal speed. However, built in the desert and surrounded by infertile land, the UAE faces big challenges. The people of the UAE largely depend on others to supply them with fodder for their livestock. In 2005, the UAE government decided that they have to find a replacement for the fodder. As you know, water in the UAE is very scarce. The solution lies 2,500 kilometers away. The ambition of Mohammed al Tayeba and his company, Jinan, has brought life to the desert and turned a big stretch of sandy dunes in the northern Sudan into green fields. Jinan called their company in Sudan, Amtar. Khalifa Al Ali from the Abu Dhabi Food Control Authority explains the importance of this program to the government. I think that the program of the export of the fodder is one of the most important governmental programs. It is safe to say that the UAE and Abu Dhabi especially are self-sufficient. They have food security thanks to this program. This program is not limited to the fodder issue. It deals with meats and proteins. It primarily helps people. They are workers, farmhands, technicians or engineers. In these early hours, they are dispatched across the project. Some of them as far as 27 kilometers away from the camp. 27 kilometers of fertile, productive farmland, which four years ago were just dry and dusty desert. 600 men work at Amtar, their leader, Khalil Al-Shamiri, the CEO. His mission to create a modern farm in the desert seemed impossible in the beginning. We started working on the farm in October 2011. There were a lot of excavations before we started. When we got to Sudan, we faced a lot of challenges. The land was barren. The challenges were how to build roads, reclaim land, organize the farm, get electricity, dig wells, get the necessary workers, get them living and work accommodation. We built our own communication towers so that we can get easier communications inside the farm. But why here, in the desert of Sudan? We need three factors to build an ideal farm. First the sun, then the land, and water. Sun is not an issue. Land is plentiful and the desert sand much better than it looks. The Nile is only 9 kilometers from the field of Amtar project. For tens of thousands of years, the waters from what is now the river have flooded the lands next to it and have left valuable minerals in the soil which is now the desert. But what about the water? Sudan has all the capabilities. It has five rivers and a lot of groundwater. It has the Nubian aquifer, the largest in the world. The Amtar farm project sits on top of the Nubian aquifer, the largest fossil groundwater reservoir on the planet. The engineers drill over 300 meters deep to reach the water and pump it up to the irrigation system. This pump is the heart of the project. It is a turbine pump. The pumps are rust-proof. The well is 343 meters deep. The pump produces 300 cubic meters an hour. But most important, they need a system to water the fields in the most effective way. How does this unique system imitate raindrops? With this invention called floppy sprinkler, this irrigation system is inspired by rain. The gentle and simple rain that we see is great for the plants. You don't pour big quantities of water. It is gentle and simple to irrigate the plants for a maximum period in a very effective way. How can this system create artificial rain? The system gets water by the pipes. The pipes are made of special plastic materials. The floppy sprinkler gets pressurized water from the bottom. 
and pushes the tube out. The tube is made of special silicon material. We get the raindrops in the ideal measurements for the system. After all the research, we found out that the ideal raindrop has to have a 4 mm diameter. To create artificial rain over miles of land, they decided to build a factory right on the farm to produce the parts the system needs. In the Amtar factory, we produce pipes, enough to cover 5,000 acres a month. After years of research, Amtar determined the components for the plastic pipes. They need to withstand the sunlight, heat, and the system has to manage high winds. Every 12 meters, a hole for a sprinkler is punched into the pipes. We need to make 420,000 sprinklers, like this one. They were all made in the factories of the company, in less than six months. Each field gets watered two to four hours a day, depending on the crop and the weather. The rain is so natural that the farmland has become home to thousands of birds, especially the white storks, a species that loves wetlands. The different old irrigation system showed us that this was the best irrigation system to increase production and limit costs. Jinan irrigation system is considered effective and sustainable. 89% of the water reaches the plants and very little land is wasted between the fields. But these are not the only advantages. First, this system is power efficient by 24% compared with other irrigation systems. Second, it decreases our water need by 17%. Third, when you are entering the farm, the temperature is cooler by 6 to 7 degrees. This gives the plants the ability to grow in a better way. Our problem here in Africa is not the construction of the project. No, the problem is faced after the construction, the maintenance. It is a big investment, but it will be very effective. With these qualities, you will be owning the best system in the world. But first and foremost, the men of Amtar run a business, a very productive one. We got great results. I am proud of that, because the men really proved that they are the basis for success. Collective work is the basis for success. Day and night, trucks are waiting in front of the Amtar gate for the hay. Amtar plants, roads, grass, alfalfa and millet. Chairman Mohammed al Tayyiba regularly flies in from Abu Dhabi to check processes, discuss improvements with his team. Their benchmark, the yield, the ton per hectare they can harvest from the field. The average in Sudan is 20 tons per hectare. Amtar now achieves 35 tons, and the protein content is very high. Jinan searched Africa for the best farm management company. They found Saitvest, one of their employees, Louis Latachan. I'm a typical South African farmer. I was raised on an agricultural farm. I've been working in Southern Africa, Mozambique, Botswana for a couple of years. Opportunity arise to come to North Africa with Amta, Jinan. The Ethiopian the airport, the guys want to know, where are you going? Sudan, yeah, the Sahara, what? What are you doing there? There's challenges, of course, it's hot, it's dry, but if you don't have water, if you don't have assimilated rain, you can't grow anything. When is it going to be cut? Uh, within five days. The production is run like a military operation. Time is an extreme issue. The machines run against the clock. This machine shoots seeds in the dusty soil. The land has been analyzed for weeks to determine how to fertilize and water it. This is wonderful for the yield. It will give us the best yield that you can possibly imagine. All that comes back with the analysis, with the results. Then it's my turn and it doesn't stop. The harvesting cycle is 28 days. Today I'm doing 1,900 odd acres, so it's, it's, it's very busy. Once the grass is cut, the time pressure is the highest. 
Everything happens in four days. Once I've cut, there's no turning back. If you've harvested, you've harvested. Then you must push through, see through the raking and the baling, the extraction, to the stagging zone, the curing period, and from there they export to Port Sudan. After a couple of days of drying, the tractors rake the hay in long rows, followed by the baling machines. The bales are extracted at astonishing speeds. Then stacked to dry. The men regularly check the quality. Lewis, would you come and test this for Mr. Chairman? Quality is fantastic because the maximum is 12% and just the maximum point is 11 from 9 to 11. Keep this performance. Okay, Thank you, sir. sir. Very important. Once the bales are ready to go, they are loaded onto the trucks and stacked as high as possible. And the trucks rumble off to the highway. The journey to Port Sudan will take two days. In Port Sudan, there is a designated open yard for Amtar. The bales are stacked so a container can be packed to utilize the space available. Every Saturday, a fully loaded ship leaves for Port Khalifa in the UAE. Look what you can achieve and if you don't take pride in this, I don't know what will satisfy you as a farmer. We are very proud of the fact that we had a green footprint in the world. We feel that we are special. Even when we look at our children, we feel so proud. In this region, we have 130,000 acres. Now we have completed around 20,000. Within three years, we hope to complete the 130,000 acres. Sheikh Zahid, may he rest in peace, used to say, there is no culture without agriculture. The agriculture is really useful for all, men, animal and birds. <laughs>